Hello my friends and fellow Betsies and welcome to the final installment of talking about the songs of the Electric Company and tier ranking them. We're so close, we've almost gotten through them all. So without further ado, let's get started with Wordball on his what. This song, this fucking song, I don't understand why they did this. Like, you can't say but at your rating level. I get it. Why draw attention to the fact that you can't say but? It's so unnecessary. And to make it worse, the song is annoying. And to make it even more worse, there are other things you could have done with this episode. There is no reason the song couldn't have been a Francine scheming with Gilda song. There's no reason the song couldn't have been the electric company showing Marcus how to use word balls. Like, let's not kid ourselves, this could have been a song about Count Vacula if we really wanted it. There was no need to make a song about Hector putting a word ball on his ass as a child. This was so unnecessary and so fucking annoying. And you may have guessed it, this is our one F tier song. Simply the worst. And we're going to completely upswing to That's Just Me, Gilda's song. I, I mean, it's Gilda's song. Of course it's incredible. Gilda's an incredible character. And Carly Rose Sinclair is an incredible singer and the jazziness of this one is really fun. And it's just an iconic number, no question about it, S tier. Zero. Thank you to this song for creating one of the fandom OTPs. I don't remember a lot of Danny and Annie shipping before this, and after this, oh my goodness. On top of being a pivotal shipping moment in the fandom, it's a fun villain song. Like, pretty much every villain song on the show is. This is a really fun villain song. William Jackson Harper and Sandy Rosa both have great singing voices and they sound really good together. A tier. Here come the animals. This sure is one of the songs on the electric company, huh? It, it's not bad. It's just not good either. I can't give it anything high because I don't like it, but it's not terrible. I don't, we're gonna call it E tier. Puppy Hero. Puppy Hero's fine. Uh, it's nothing special, but the rapping is actually a little better than average. They sped it up a little more, and so it actually feels a little more impressive, and the puppy chorus is cute. C tier. The Electric Company Doesn't Like You. Probably one of my most referenced songs from the show. It's lovely. I, I love this song a lot. It's fun. It's catchy. I've heard people call it ska before. Is this what ska is? I only ever hear people talk about ska in relationship to talking shit about ska, but if this is ska, I think I like ska. I don't know. All I know is that this is iconic and I love it. A tier. Fuck it. No, 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 no. This is better than that. S tier. Take back this returnable. This is a weird one conceptually. I'm confused by it. Like, okay, I understand that it's like the revolution and so it's like opera because it's big and dramatic, but they don't commit to that. Like, you can't talk this much in an opera and have it still be opera. And so it feels really weird. Either you need everyone to sing and go full ham with it and be super operatic or you shouldn't do it. And it doesn't sound great. I mean, it doesn't sound bad, but it's just one of those ones where I have an idea of what they should have done and what I thought of is better. And so that's frustrating because what I feel like they should have done here is it should have been Francine doing a Harold Hill shtick. Cause we know Ashley would have killed that. That would have been iconic doing the whole salesman infomercial thing would have been a really fun thing to do. 
and instead we got this weird, mediocre kind of opera. Again, it's not terrible, but it's not good, and it doesn't make sense on a conceptual level, which is what's most frustrating and really puts it in D tier. The beatbox. I mean, it's just beatboxing. Like, this isn't a song, technically. However, it's really damn impressive beatboxing. Like, if this show does anything, it gives you an appreciation for beatboxing. And this episode is just showing off C tier, because it's not a song, but it's still really damn cool. I love my power. This is fun. It's a, it's a good little villain song. It's far from the best villain song on the show, but that's really more just saying something about the quality of the villain songs. It does just sort of feel like a retread of Manny's other better villain songs, though, so it's gonna just stay as a C tier. Add a chicken. I don't understand this song. I don't understand this entire episode, honestly. But this is just... <laughs> oh, add a chicken. It's so dumb. It's so weird. Unfortunately, it's extremely catchy, and so it does actually get stuck in my head. Especially at Costco, whenever we're picking up a rotisserie chicken, I do get this song stuck in my head. The commentating is stupid, but the actual little song is very fun. B tier. And last but not least is Hector and Francine from The Junior Assistant. This one's cute. It's catchy. I like this one. They go a little obvious with it, but it's fun and the performances really sell it. It's certainly not the best song on the show, but it is a solid one to go out on. C tier. So yes, these are the songs of The Electric Company ranked into tiers. I am very curious to hear what people think now that it is completed. I think most of the songs are pretty solid, especially when compared to similar shows. I think there are more good songs than bad, and some songs that really, really are wonderful. But yes, I want to hear what you all think. Does my favoritism for certain characters show too much on the list? Did I totally diss your favorite? I want to know what people think, if they have thoughts. And with that, my friends and fellow Vedsies, I will see you tomorrow.